Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we're going to talk about the biggest luxury handbag trends of 2021. What are we seeing now? What are we going to be seeing autumn, winter situation, all of that business? Now, whether or not you believe in a good trend, I personally just think that it's interesting to see whether you want to jump on the back of it or not. It's just fun to see, you know, what the designers are making and what they think that we're going to be loving and all of that business. It gives us a little bit of a heads up of what we're going to be seeing on the streets and on Instagram. <laughs> By the way, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, trend number one, chains. Two chains, two chains would be very happy and very proud of this trend. Now, this is a trend that has been happening for the last couple of seasons, okay? The Bottega chain cassette, um, the Chanel 19, things like that. So we've been seeing this crop up and more and more brands are now doing their own little twist with chains. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the heftier side that we've been seeing, you know, thus far. It can be in much more subtle ways or ways that just suit the brand's identity. So to give some 2021 examples, we've got the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag, okay? You've got that pillowy trend, which again was a trend that was kind of very big last year, we're still seeing some of it now, but with that kind of gold chain element, they've now kind of made a smaller pochette version of this bag, and the chain has kind of, you know, decreased in size to match along with it. The Versace La Medusa, and they're doing chains in, I mean, although you can get the black bag with the gold chain, they're really going down the kind of candy colored route of these kind of, um, you know, delicious colors that you almost want to eat, but you know, you would, you know, have some gastrointestinal problems if you did. You've got Givenchy and the, the cutout bag, which again, questionable but the chain that goes along with it is a kind of you know 3d version of, of the Givenchy G linked in there it's not a smooth chain but this is their take on a chain and then Valentino recently in their quest to revive the rock stud range are doing rock stud chains so that's how they've weaved it in there you can see that these brands are kind of taking this and doing it in a way that makes sense for them but chains are still very much here jump on it if you love a good chain this is our time to shine you know you know i'm a chain i'm a chain loving gal myself okay the next trend again is one that we've been seeing for a few seasons now it's not slowing down this is multi-use slash utility okay and this you know what i bring her every time i bring her up every time we talk about utility bags but she is just the woman that embodies this trend it's the lara croft in all of us it is the she is ready for anything it is the indiana jones it is the who else is like an actiony actiony character that you know looks very handy i can't think of one insert whoever you may think of right here it's that kind of vibe okay we've got lots of pockets we've got things hanging that are for different uses all of that Again, Louis Vuitton has their utility bag aptly named, but it kind of, this is a really great example of how the utility vibe kind of looks, you know? You've got those pockets on the top, you've got the pocket dangling off the um, strap there, that kind of thing. And then we have a look at the Gucci Aria collection, which is going to drop, I have no idea, but you know, towards the second half of the year. And they've kind of done it on harnesses. So you've got this kind of harness corset situation with these kinds of bags and pouches and pockets hanging off. So that's another way to do it. Hermes even um, are sort of coming out with this phone holder situation where you've got a pouch for your phone, little space for your lipstick and your AirPods. And again, it's that multi-use vibe. Trend number three is um, quite an interesting one. And this one I've just dubbed fluff. Wow, okay, so this is one coming for us in autumn, winter, so prepare yourselves. Okay, you will, you will, you will need to prepare yourself for this one. Um, this is, you know, like the abominable snowman would approve. It is basically feathers and fluff and sort of lint from around your room and just sort of various cloud-like bag designs coming for us. This is such a season specific trend, right? I mean, you're really not going to be using your boucle fabric cloud-like bags 
come the spring summer okay so it's a very wintry trend let's have a look at Burberry that literally are coming out with just this massive fluffy sack like tote wear firstly it's massive you know so the practicality is just I know coming from somebody who loves a tiny bag you know branch gallantone okay but fine um it's massive and it's it's just a fluffy sack Chanel are also doing jumping on the back of this fluffy trend and doing you know fluffy versions of their classic bags and all of that business D squared also kind of taking a leaf out of Burberry's book here with a sort of fluffy sack that looks like it was just sort of hacked off the back of something from where the wild things are you know is, is this a trend for me not necessarily I think this is a trend that if you're going to do it I think it's better to do it on a medium to small size bag just because it's much easier to have that pop and like that little bit of fluff there than committing to one of these like massive luggage size fluffy sacks that you know oh god I can only I can only think of the lint that's just going to collect it no no let's not okay trend number four again something that we've been seeing for a while and it's not slowing down and we have a recent example of this are reissued bags okay we are loving for one reason or another y2k um the late 90s early 2000s okay Lindsay Brittany and Paris Hilton in a car doing messy things all of that business we are loving that because of that we're also loving the bags of the era so over the last few years we've seen the saddlebag come back we've seen the Fendi baguette come back we've seen the Prada re-edition 2000 re-edition 2005 two recent examples that we've had of this are we've got Fendi and the 1997 baguette so the Fendi baguette is already a remake of a 1997 version right with a sort of extra straps and a bit more versatility but they've decided to literally make the exact 1997 version of the baguette and bring that out again louis vuitton recently has relaunched the papillon um little sort of barrelly cute little duffily kind of bag thing that originally was introduced in 1966 i believe so we're going to be seeing a lot more of this keep one's eyes open next up we have phone holders right so a lot of brands are now doing these kinds of phone holder bags again it's kind of like that multi-use trend that um i was talking about earlier and hermes are doing one but for example chanel have been doing this for a while it's a sort of north south vertical uh bag that is intended to kind of hold your phone and some other essential bits right you can choose whether or not to put your phone in it and you just want it as a bag and you like the shape of it and all of that so chanel has been doing this for a while dior have got these as well even uh balenciaga's phone holder kind of size that one is again your kind of lengthways it's more of a wallet on chain that bag to be honest with you but they're calling it a phone holder it's kind of it's a, it's almost like a micro trend off the back of that multi-use trend but it's something that i think we'll be seeing a little bit more of in the coming months <sighs> the next trend is a trend that's after my heart you know i love this one this is sparkles yes this is get that light refracting off the way that that sodding crystal was cut and let it sparkle and let it give me a little bit of dazzling in the eyes you know I love this case in point case in point basically this is my area of expertise and I'm very happy that we are seeing a lot more of it do you want to know what this is kind of coming out of the pandemic and all of that business you know we've been seeing a lot of collections come out with really really fun colors because they want us to just you know they just want to bring joy to our lives and also spend money for the joy but you know what i mean um and sparkles are a part of that you know we haven't really been able to dress up for the last year and a half two years and this is a part of like oh my gosh bring sparkles into your real life you know have these moments of fabulousness that we weren't able to really make much use of before so that is why a lot of these brands are doing it we have the example here of the Prada Crystal re-edition Chanel and their Metier Dar collection which is coming out next month and also its autumn winter collection we're seeing a lot of the bags crystal embellished all of that giving us the sparkle we've got Jimmy Choo doing their own little sparkly fabulousness over there again the Crystal Aria collection where they've got these fabulous crystal embellished you know anatomically correct I don't know if they're anatomically correct there's probably some angles off there of the of the arteries and whatnot of the aorta 
what is that? That's not an artery. Yes, it is an artery. You're thinking of a vein, Cassie. Anyway, so they've got these crystal embellished hearts there as well, right? Again, injecting some sparkle into our lives that, you know, we weren't really experiencing before. And I love it. The uh, final trend that I want to talk about is a kind of trend of two. It's like a twin trend. Um, huge versus small. We are still loving a tiny bag. TBE, tiny bag energy, you know, I absolutely ride for these. Um, versus absolutely huge on the other on the other side of the spectrum, you know? So we're seeing both of these happening at the same time. Examples of mini bags, we've got the Versace La Medusa, they're coming out in a tiny, tiny little crystal sparkles trend and TBE trend, um, coming in August, I believe. Then you've got Tom Ford. Tom Ford is doing mini bags. Brands that you didn't really put in like the mini bag category are now doing their own versions of mini bags. Loewe has just recently launched a like tiny little version of their balloon bag that makes me like it brings me to tears just looking at it out of pure just how adorable it is. The Fendi Peekaboo in a nano version. Emperor Armani is also doing their version of a mini bag. Then on the massive side of the scale, you've got like that Burberry ma massive fluffy sack situation happening. You've got Givenchy doing the cutout in a large that is so ridiculously out of proportion in my opinion, but that's happening. Marnie just doing these massive totes. It's so interesting to see this like, well, if you want tiny, I'll give you tiny. And if you want, you know, huge, well, I'll give you sod in huge you know so it's just interesting to see these both around at the same time and really it means that there is something for everyone guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know which trends you're excited for or which trends you think are weird which trends you're not going to be participating in let me know in the comments i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys